Hello, future viewers. Welcome to the currently newest series on the channel, Battle Engine Aquila. I found this game by accident some years ago. It was in a friend's PlayStation 2 collection. That was more than one year ago. Now I'm not playing it on the PlayStation 2, which has some advantages, some drawbacks. Well, uh, let's take a look at the training level. Oh well. We had to go through one of these. One, one thing that you're going to realize quickly is that this game is not big on things like nuance. That looks like a very, very expensive hey, forklift oh, sort of thing. You racing tonight? Shh, keep it down. We don't want the boss to know. Sure. You coming for once? I might just do it. Catch you later. Here they come! That's Hawk in the lead. I told you he was good. Mm, we'll see about that. Oh, it flies around, sort of, and then lands on legs. Foreshadowing? Your power loader skills are too strong. You have to come with us. We were just pointing guns at you for funsies. Tell you what's going on. You better. Before someone here gets hurt. Believe me, I'm no more happy about this than you are. But we've got a serious situation. We need someone like you right now. And tell you are our man. Just why Oh boy, it seems like this Hollywood style nonsense dialogue has leaked uh, abroad. Let me introduce you to our latest toy. They're not big on things like simulations or training manuals. Other functions, I'll demonstrate them later. The circle to your left is your scanner. Enemy units show up in red, friendly units in blue. If you ever need to review these messages, check out the Quilla's message log in the pause menu. All systems nominal. You have two primary controls. One determines the direction of travel, and the other changes which way a killer faces. Okay, Hawk. Yeah, I'm yeah, keep talking. I'm, I'm just going to walk to the next objective ahead of time because I'm playing this tutorial for rank. You, you got to understand, this is serious business. By the way, I would not walk this far for anything in actual gameplay. So if training doesn't go well and they have to start over, do they just bring in another building and stuff? Because that seems expensive. Using that weapon on vehicles is also not something that I will do very often. Well, I should say ground vehicles. Against flying vehicles, that's another matter.
Well, you're not supposed to hit the buildings, so I just make sure that can't happen with whatever fire angle I'm using. Pulse M. This is your energy level. Energy is used to power the shields in walker mode, or enable you to fly in jet mode. It will regenerate whilst you're on the ground. This is your armor level. As Aquila takes damage, the protective plating gets destroyed. If this gauge reaches zero, then you're in big trouble. Aquila can also perform emergency dodge maneuvers. Rapidly moving left and right will cause her to dash right. So about those emergency maneuvers, they are very finicky and unreliable. Sometimes the movement technique will do that, and it makes missiles temporarily lose track of you. Other times, you will do the exact same maneuver, and nothing will happen. Incoming missile. Incoming missile. I mean, you can increase your success rate a little bit by getting used to it, but I've played this game a fair bit and I still can't get it to reliably happen. The good news is it's not actually required to do much of anything in this game. The enemy doesn't fire guided missiles at you a whole lot when you're on land. The same maneuver is much easier to do when you're in the air and I don't know why. And this game has a specific key for the landing jets. Mm, landing softly is useful, and it's also not the only thing those jets can be used for. Well, we'll get into that later. To get a good rank, you have to finish it quickly. That's a very common ranking thing in this game. And I believe you also have to dodge all of the missiles, which I did not do, so don't expect an amazing rank. You might find these next rounds a little more tricky. We've activated their weapon system. In a combat situation, making a quill stray sideways makes you a considerably harder target to kill. You can't do that in the air, of course. Or as far as I know, there isn't a drift button. It'd be cool if there was, though. The aiming is made for a controller, which means that there's a fair a bit of assist with certain weapons. Uh -huh. I tried playing this with an Xbox controller, however, it didn't really recognize the right analog stick, and maybe not even the left analog stick, so I wasn't able to do it that way. So instead I'm using the mouse and keyboard. What's weird is the voices and cutscenes are very quiet, however, in gameplay everything is louder, which makes balancing the sound and editing a little tricky. I'll make do. And now we have our first real mission where we fight enemies. I figure showing off chapter one in one go should be fine because it's pretty short. Sir, we've lost contact with high command. Strange. Have you run diagnostics on all systems? Yes, sir. All systems? Like well, the air conditioner has been giving us trouble oh, recently. Contacts on approach vector. Coming in fast, sir. It's an attack. Some battle stations. And get me some air support up there on the double. General, our forces have started their attack run. It looks like we've caught them completely by surprise. That We're the bad guys. Chance. Well, the main thing that we're going for here is to get rid of their transports very quickly. And not just the ones that are incoming. One of them is going to try to leave pretty much right away, and we want to shoot down that one to get 
a better rank and oh yeah sometimes the missiles uh, don't work right I think that's a bug actually but it's okay we have a solution yeah we can land on just about anything that isn't moving too fast it's pretty handy anyway by doing this um, we can get rid of this before they can drop too many tanks and that speeds up the mission quite a bit This game also kind of shows you that allied units are a thing, and if you manage your uh, priorities correctly, they can help you out in finishing the mission faster. You said it had all been taken care of. I don't you dare disappoint me again. We've had uh, communications breakdowns across the board. Reports are sketchy, but they suggest that, as of this morning, Muspel forces have staged a major invasion of our territory. We're still trying to find out exactly what happened. In the meantime, we've been ordered to move the battle engine to the firebase on Apollo. But we haven't finished the testing program, sir. High Command is aware of that. Facilities are being set up on Apollo to enable your team to continue the testing process. In the meantime, oh, that is I want everything unusually up. reasonable. Now let's move it, people. Now I'm not super familiar with present-day militaries, but if you if you tell your superiors that uh, everything is fine, you can you can attack and then they attack and what happened in that last mission occurs you'd probably get a bit more than a stern warning uh, that's as I said that's with very limited information on my part though so correct me if wrong I got two bandits incoming support from Apollo is coming but a couple of minutes away you got to get that thing out of here well this is the first mission where secondary objectives matter and uh, determine well, actually, no, this, this is the second one. My mistake. But it's the first one where it's a, a bit of a challenge. Observe. We have to protect all the transports here. Okay, good. Welcome to secondary objectives in Battle Engine Aquila. At first glance, it seems kind of impossible. We were shooting down fighters, you know, right from the start, but that still happened. The reason that happened is that the game points you in the, in the wrong direction at the start. You have to turn to the right and deal with these fighters that are headed for the transport immediately, and when you break that up, the rest of it becomes um, possible, also easier. I guess those two things overlap. This is a game about energy management. Um, mobility is very important in this game, especially if you're going for rank. So, it's going to be fairly common for you to land just enough to recharge your energy and to do things while you're recharging on land, and then pick up and go places soon afterwards. In this case, I know that there's only a few tanks on the ground and allied forces can deal with them, so I need to move uh, forward and deal with these transports right here before they start dropping stuff. Or at least before they drop too much stuff. Ooh, uh, I landed a little bit too close to an exploding transport. Took a hit or two. Wasn't great. But fortunately, taking damage does not affect your rank. You see, they were able to handle it just fine. Now, the game mentioned that this is a prototype. It is a little bit under-equipped. Later on, we're going to get an extra weapon for this setup. And it's going to be pretty nice. Listen up, son. We've suspected this invasion was on the cards for a while now. We hoped we'd have a little more time to prepare, but I guess that's not the case. Take a look at this footage, Hawk. 
This is Lieutenant Lewis Carver. He was one of our test pilots in the battle engine program. He was certainly the most promising candidate and got to grips with the control in no time at all. Oh, we got a rival character, don't we? The remainder of the test pilots. Carver made it out past the perimeter. We can only assume he's gone over to the Muspel. His treachery did a pretty good job of screwing us over, and thanks to the specialized nature of the controls, we couldn't just get any jet jock to step in. That's why Miss Kirilova put your name forward as a potential candidate. Me? But I'm not military. Wasn't there anyone else? No. I've seen you run those loaders. Face it, Hawk. You're natural. Believe you me. <laughs> Face it, Hawk. I you're a natural. <laughs> around in our hardware, but it's the only choice that, we have. Uh... There's a lot of people counting on you right now, so we're gonna back you up any way we can. Right. I swear there's got to be a name for lines like that. Anyway, uh, actually I was correct. That's the first secondary objective that allows you to move to the EVO missions, which are the more difficult ones. I'm going to uh, just do those lines because the standard versions are just the same missions but less interesting. You can keep along the EVO line by continuing to complete secondary objectives. And um, I think I'd like to show off what the goodies thing is, is like because I did mention that in my vote for the next game video. We've got character information on the top row, then units, then cutscenes, and then this part, which is concept art. That's the part I like the most. I, I like how they show off uh, po previous possible designs for the battle engine. Though I could do a bit less with a bit less of this uh, sort of lore-based, uh, made-up language stuff. Still, I think I think that's a good that's good enough for now. See you next time.